Thank you for watching Indigenous Children's Storytime. We also thank you for supporting our channel by love offerings and sharing with your friends and family. Share, 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 and share some more. Sharing is caring. Make sure you hit the like button. It's 100% free. All story times are dedicated to my four amazing sons, unjustly, unlawfully, legally kidnapped by the corrupt child trafficking CPS, Child Protective Services. This story time is dedicated to my sons, Nazi, misidentified as Jackson, Omni, misidentified as Joshua, Maji, misidentified as Theodore, and Adrael. Mommy loves you so much more than words can express. If anyone tells you any different, don't believe them and don't ever trust them again. Mommy loves you and I want you to know that. I want you to believe that and I want you to trust that. I do love you. Technologically advanced activities ebook is available now. Option one with principles, and you can pre order option two, which is the ebook principles and videos embedded that are geared towards ages zero through eight. And option three is all of the above and including videos geared towards ages eight through adults. Hardback and paperbacks coming soon. Book coming soon, Little Nazi the Great goes for a walk with mommy, the autochthonous indigenous baby that didn't know how great he is. Now to today's book. Animals of South America Nature Series. Okay, uh, back again with Animals of South America. We will be learning about a new South American animal. Are you ready? Are you excited? I know I'm excited. I love animals. I just absolutely love animals. So let's learn about a new animal that we can love today. Okay? Well, greetings and welcome to Indigenous Children's Storytime. We will be reading a wonderful, beautiful book about the animals of the Amazon rainforest. So this is the first and introductory page that describes all of the wonderful, amazing animals within the rainforest. Okay. Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest of South America is the largest rainforest in the world. It covers an area the size of the misnomer United States, which is really Turtle Island, what is also known as Atlantis, and it is also known as Egypt Kemet of the West. It is home to a huge variety of plants and animals found nowhere else on earth. The animals of the rainforest live not only along the ground, but also in every level of vegetation, meaning plant life. 
up to the very tree tops. Very, this is a bush, but if you can imagine, up way at the very tip top. Okay, yeah, way, 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 way at the top of the trees. This top layer forms a shady canopy. So we can see that this bush forms shade right here. See, the darker area will be considered the shade. Yes. This lighter area is considered the sunny area. And that's what it's referring to for all the younger children. Okay, the forest floor is home to animals that eat the leaves and grasses of the undergrowth, such as the brocket deer and the tap deer. Ant eaters and armadillos feed on insects like ants and termites, while several kinds of monkeys eat the plentiful fruits. The brightly colored birds of the rainforest eat berries, seeds, nuts, and nectar from, the, from flowers. There are also carnivorous meat-eating predators of the rainforest, such as the powerful boa constrictor and the graceful and beautiful jaguar. So through this book, we're going to learn about all these amazing creatures of and animals of the rainforest and including the beautiful, graceful, majestic, spotted jaguar that has been highly revered by the indigenous of this land, misnomered, Negro, Black, colored, African-American, Afro-American. So, as the lion is the king of the jungle in Africa, so would the jaguar be the kings and queens of the rainforest in and on Turtle Island, a Mexum, aka Kemet, Egypt of the West. We're going to speak about the jaguar today, one of the most amazing animals in the rainforest and is highly revered by the indigenous misnomered negro colored african americans of this land jaguar the jaguar is the largest cat in the americas correctly turtle island atlantis egypt which is kenneth of the west a jaguar's coat is yellow kind of umber orangish color covered with dark spots that are different on every animal. So the difference between our jaguar and other jaguars is that it has a spot in the middle of its pattern. And so you can kind of see the spot in the middle. Did you know? These red dots mark the middle of the jaguar's cool furs pattern. This is where the jaguar spot is located. That spot in the middle is how they got identified as the spotted jaguar. Can you say super cool? Of the pattern and that's what makes the spotted jaguar different. That little dot in between the pattern. Okay, that's my story. A jaguar's coat is yellowish, orangish, umber color covered with dark spots that are different on every it should say cat with its stocky body and short limbs the jaguar can move with ease in the vast marshy forest it's a skilled tree climber and excellent swimmer are you a tree climber can you swim when i was a child i would climb everything and I was an excellent swimmer. Back to our book. Females usually have two or three cubs in a thicket. 
cubs stay with their mother until they are two years old, learning how to hunt for food. Do you have to hunt for your food? Have you ever hunted? Well, in previous times before grocery stores and today, there are people that still do hunt for their food. Or grow their own food. Or fish for their food. Okay, so there's lots of different things other than people going to the grocery store. What does your family do? Do they go hunting? Do they go fishing? Do they trap? You know, there's other people that also set traps and then go check their traps uh, to ensure that they have uh, different types of food uh, on hand throughout the year and especially saving into the winter months. Many animals do that. They'll store up and save for the winter months. And how to chase monkeys and sloths without falling from the treetops. That's amazing. That's amazing. So they get way, way, way up there. And they are such skilled climbers that even when they are uh, up there chasing or maybe, um, you know, taking their food up the tree uh, to uh, ensure that other animals don't want to, that want to get their food, don't have access to it, they are so skilled that they can be way up there and not fall. That's cool. That's really cool. What does it eat? So what does the jaguar eat? Let's find out. Large and small mammals. That's large and small animals. Fish, reptiles, and eggs. It often drags its meat up a tree away from other hungry animals. Yeah, so, you know, it can be alone and not have to um, worry about other animals attempting to pick their food. the end i hope my sons and everyone watching this enjoyed this story time and if you'd like to support our channel there are many ways to support love offerings are welcome or you can actually support by getting your copy of little nazi the great goes for a walk with mommy authored and illustrated by talisa hartley or show your support by getting all of your favorite merchandise with Talisa Hartley's masterpieces. Let me know in the comments what your favorite masterpieces are. For the whole month of July, we will be having a contest of who can make the most creative TikTok videos with our story time as the theme and link the story time YouTube channel will win an autographed photo of Lisa Hartley playing for the IWFL the International Women's Football League the women's professional equivalent to the NFL Thank you for watching all of our story times. And to my children, mommy loves her babies. We'll see you in the next story time.